Hey everybody, this is Dan with Learning to Smoke and today we're going to be taking a rack of spare ribs and I'm going to show you how to cut those down, trim them into St. Louis style ribs. So here we have this rack of pork spare ribs. So they're a lot bigger than baby back ribs and St. Louis style ribs, but today we're going to trim them down to, to St. Louis style. So, what you do here is you'll notice that when you get the spare ribs, you've got this bone right here. This is the sternum or breast bone. So we're going to cut that out. Okay, use this knife here and cut that out. Cut that down to size. This rack of ribs was really cold when I got them. Almost kind of frozen actually. Anyway, they've been sitting in my fridge for a couple days, so they should be fine so we trim that down now also what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the tops of the ribs here st. Louis style ribs they're usually longer and a little flatter but anyway so the tops of the bones I'm feeling are like right around here so what I want to do come up into st. Louis styles I'm gonna cut a line right around here try to cut away from cartilage or at least by the cartilage, I should say, away from the bone, right by the cartilage. Cut that line right there. I'm gonna use that to guide me across. So now I'm gonna come over here and cut along this. Just like that. But we're not gonna throw this away. We're gonna keep this. I'm gonna show you what we can do with this. We're gonna make riblets. Oh, spoiler alert, we're gonna make riblets. I'm going to set this aside. We'll come back to this in a minute. You know, I think I'll actually say that for another video. You're here to see how to trim down the St. Louis cut. I'll do a separate video there with the riblets. So you got this extra flap here. What I want to do is kind of, we want to square these off. Uh, you'll feel a couple loose bones right here on the very end. So I'm going to trim those off, but I'm going to save those. That's been set aside. You got this little flap of meat here, the skirt. I'm gonna trim that down too, actually. You could use a bony knife, which would work as well, but I got the uh, bigger chef's knife out because I wanted to make sure I could cut through the cartilage well with a thicker blade. So, nice and squared off. There you go, look at that. That's how you do it, plain and simple. But as I said, don't throw away those uh, extra excess meat that you cut off because we're gonna use that for our riblets and that's awesome. That's just extra meat for you. Thing about doing it this way is it's cheaper to buy the spare ribs per pound than it is to just buy the St. Louis style ribs already cut for you. And you'll get more meat out of it. You'll get more out of it and uh, it's a pretty simple fix here to trim that up. You know what, this is weird. Not every rack of ribs is going to have this, but it looks like there's just a sliver of another bone right here from the ribs. So I'm going to cut that off. Yep, that should work. Now let me show you how to remove the membrane off the back. This is optional for some folks. Some people love having the membrane on. They like that little extra chew. Uh, I personally don't. But if you want to remove the membrane, you just stick around. You lessen up here. Cut that off. Not that I need to do that. Anyway, so this membrane right here, what you're going to want to do, some people like to use a spoon. They like to use the edge of a spoon and dig under. I sometimes like to use a bony knife to easily slide under the skin there. So let's see what this looks like here with the spoon. I normally just do it with a knife, but anyway. So take this, dig under the skin like that. So I'm digging all the way under there and now I'm gonna twist the spoon, twist it around, get some separation from the membrane from the bone and pull that way a little bit. And now get a paper towel. 
The reason you want a paper towel to grip this skin of membrane and rip it off is because your hands are already slimy. Even if I took this glove off, it would be really hard to pull off uh, to get a good pinch, good grip. So getting a paper towel is perfect for it. Now, people don't always get this in one shot. By people, I mean me. Don't always rip this off in one piece at one time. But let's see if we got some magic in us today. I got the magic in me. Look at that. Woo! All right. That there. That's how you trim down spare ribs to St. Louis style ribs. And also how you trim off a membrane. 